A nice clean fight, touch gloves, and good luck to the both of you. And we're underway. Don't get low. Make sure every punch that he down the hole, if he'll throw. Sometimes just laying it out there. Left hook lands for Holyfield. Evander Holyfield should get to that body and make him drop those hands. And Holyfield trying to tackle Lewis in the middle of the ring. And it's around. 17 punches around won't win for Evander Holyfield. And he cringes against the ropes as Lewis lands a right hand. Yeah, he takes a couple of pounds. That's a good left hook by Evander Holyfield. The level where the Holyfield fans are wondering why their man doesn't get off. Raucous noise in the upper deck. Where now, and he comes out in a very aggressive posture. Well, if he opens up to try to fulfill the round three prophecy, does Lewis get a chance with the right hand? The puncher's gloves. It's like a pillow. To Holyfield off. landed a left hook inside and lands a right hand, and Lewis is stunned. Evander attacking, trying to fulfill the prophecy. I think he's trying to to set him up for something, George. I don't know what it is. The right hand right there. Right cross landed flush for Holyfield. Lewis seemingly stunned again. Prophecy. And so much for the round three knockout. Right hand only if you see it. Good. What you want the top, the shorter man to do is reach for everything. Lewis lands the jab and fires the right cross. The frequency. He just doesn't believe in this jab, though. Left hook lands for Holyfield. Backs Lewis into the corner again. Holyfield. Lewis with a right. And you heard Emmanuel Stewart say, come up with the uppercut. Lewis lands the right hand. Holyfield stunned against Holyfield on the defensive. Right hand lands again. Thunder in round five for Lewis. To the back. George. He's hurt. Yeah, he's had some body punching and they hurt. Well, and the uppercut landed flush. Long time left in the round. Now and then. Blood along the bridge of the nose of Lewis as he busts Holyfield with a four punch combination. Later in the round, holding him, punishing him. It's open already. So far, he's following it almost to the T, but Holyfield lands a big left hook. As Lewis carelessly drops his right hand. Getting a little arrogant. Now that'll do. Yeah, you got it. Upper cut yeah, yeah, for yeah. Lewis. Thunder on hold it backward when they come together. You don't follow a punch around. You just don't do that. Where Emmanuel Stewart. They both go down in the corner. Arthur Mercanti is going to rule it a slip. Really see the clean punches and the effective aggressiveness. You can't miss shots like him. Not throwing many punches. Uppercut, uppercut. And Lewis misses. Goes to the body. If you want to finish... Don't follow him, Holyfield. Don't follow him. If you want to finish, Lennox, go to the body. Time. Big round for Lennox Lewis. Lewis, 33 of 59, including 22 of 32 power shots. Don Turner is getting more desperate as he asks him. Just get a little closer and stay closer. You see, just, you don't have Right hand stops Evander in his tracks again. Lewis, every now and then, whenever he drops his hand or bend his waist, he gets in trouble looking like the better one. When you think about what's going in. Well, when he uses the uppercut, George, he triples his effectiveness as an infighter. To his right, and make him throw his left hook. Lewis landed a short right hand with a thud. Fought for a minute, he might have Holyfield. That's even better, because if Holyfield charges him a little bit, he can even pull a little power to it. 88, 83, Lennox Lewis. I like him in the Holyfield, he gets aggressive, but I, I've only seen aggressiveness in two rounds. And that's the third of the night. I thought he pulled out the knife by getting aggressive, just like he's doing now. Here comes the aggressiveness. Here comes the Holyfield rally. Here comes the indomitable warrior we've seen. Yeah, but Joe Lewis would never revert to all of that. Hard right hand for Holyfield. Right cross landed for Lewis. 
get, make him miss by keeping your hands up. Uppercut landed again for Lewis. You know what? I wanted to talk about it. Evander may have had too many wars. It hasn't seemed like it tonight. This boy was an Olympic super middleweight, I mean heavyweight champion one time. And he lands a Lewis show up for a big fight. And he did. Good right hand by Evander Holyfield. Big. Right now. This fight may be the biggest anti-climax dramatically since the impeachment. But if a Brit wins, it will be the biggest news in the British Isles the for many, many, many a decade. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the scorecards at this time. Judge at ringside, Eugenia Williams, scores about 115 to 113 in favor of Evander Holyfield. Judge at ringside, Stanley Christodoulou, scores about 116 to 113 in favor of Lennox Lewis. Judge at ringside, Larry O'Connell, scores about 115 to 115, even a draw. The decision is even a draw. Both champions retain their belts. That's a travesty. That is, ladies and gentlemen, a travesty. An outrage, a highway robbery. Lennox Lewis has just been robbed of the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. He won it, and he didn't get it.